A Nazi attack is imminent and the only people capable of saving the country are trapped in a bunker. This is Francesca and this evening we are going to experience for king and country a show that is going to be immersive in the Second World War. Let's have a look. The white cliffs of Dover Tomorrow Just you wait and see The show is an immersive, interactive show about the Nazi invasion of Britain, which never happened. So the audience come in and then they have to set up their own government and uh, defend Britain from a Nazi invasion. A great honour and a privilege to have you down here with us, distinguished guests. I play uh, squadron leader James Muir in the show, who's sort of a, an arrogant, chauvinist representative of the uh, RAF. Honour. And you, madam? I'm this one's plus one. You're this one's plus one? Yes. Oh, fantastic. How incredibly modern and accepting the people of Mead sound for art. Where have we taken you to? Well, this bunker here is the cabinet auxiliary war room. He is essentially the opposite number of um, Squadron Leader Muir's character. Smythe's uh, very friendly, very enthusiastic, uh, but that's more a way that he tries to keep his emotions under check. You might think it gets rather, rather dull and tedious, laborious, uh, boring, uh, but I don't know, you'll be surprised actually, you'll be surprised. I've got, I'm attached to these pins. Just to let you know, all the MPs and their plus ones are seat within the cabinet of auxiliary war rooms. She's a modern woman stuck in 1940, so she's, you know, definitely a feminist and she leads sort of women's revolts during the show and really tries to empower that. Perhaps you, madam, could act as our spokeswoman and insist that our voice is heard in Parliament. I think it is quite right that we hear all sides of an argument argued as strongly as possible and therefore thank you for arguing on our party lines as you have. His job, uh, as you can see, he's a civilian. Uh, he is actually a civil servant to ensure the smooth running of Parliament if, uh, if the MPs who are present need to have any kind of debates. I appear to be one of the only people who actually wore a jacket today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, if you will permit me, if I show of hands to remove it, I would be extremely grateful. So all in favour of shirt sleeve orders. <laughs> My infinite thanks. <laughs> I am the Padre down here, uh, and when the, the show, briefly after the show begins, I end up running the propaganda. The cowardliness of this attack will not go unanswered by our great nation. Um, as you will no doubt recall, I started as a mere shoeshine boy in the streets of Nottingham. From there, I grew my empire, reaching as far as now Derby. If this is a demonstration of your ability to recall speeches and again, again. <laughs> and it shows that it's absolute best. You'll just get ministers telling you to go over there, do this, do that, do this. Uh, you'll get them yelling at you as they get stressed, and that really is uh, quite magical. And the ideas that they come up with really are their own. Generally, people realise that the, what they do really affects what happens in the story, and that really, when people realise that, they think, oh, OK, I better really try, really concentrate. As a civil servant, it is extremely inappropriate for me to have any political opinion whatsoever, especially in a political opinion like well bloody done. Most of the magic is, is, is in the audience's hands. It's a show that is, we call it an immersive, I call it an immersive game, because it is actually a game. What you do affects the show. The show will change based on what you've done in a much greater sense than anything I've ever seen. For King and Country is not just a show, it's an immersive experience that will take you back straight to the 40s for a great night at the theatre. Thanks for watching. Thank you.